Hi, I'm John Mulligan from SES New York 2008. I'm here with Andrew Tompkins, Chief Scientist of Search with Yahoo. Say hello, Andrew. Hi, everyone. So, Andrew, you just gave a uh, speech on some new metadata standards that Yahoo's rolling out. Uh, could you speak a little bit to those? Sure. We're going to be uh, rolling out something called Yahoo's Open Search Platform, which is going to be a, um, a series of capabilities for publishers and developers to use to enhance search results. So what we anticipate happening is that um, it'll be possible for a publisher to kind of help us understand a little bit more deeply the content that's in a, um, in a search engine. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, use that, we'll use that content to uh, uh, give people sort of a richer search experience. So what we're going to do is uh, allow a um, uh, publisher to embed markup directly into a document saying this is a restaurant review, this is a discussion of a, uh, a medical symptom, uh, using a vocabulary that we can interpret as a search engine. And we'll take the results of that mar markup and actually put them directly into our search engine engine index. That's one channel that we're going to open and we're going to be supporting a series of uh, open, uh, open uh, standards to do that. At the same time we're also going to let people uh, present feeds to the search engine through kind of a feed API. So if you don't want to mark up your pages you'll be able to give us information that way. And finally we're going to offer a third channel which will be that we'll uh, allow a pull model where people can tell us how to read and interpret their page kind of on the fly and extract structured information from it. So once we have the um, once we have the structured information loaded into our index, we're going to offer some developer toolkits that will let developers specify a new way to structure a search result abstract. So on the search result page, when the page comes back and there's a result from a particular provider, say Yelp.com, yeah. ordinarily there's a title at the top of the page, there's a little bit of a textual description, and there's a URL at the bottom. We're going to allow Yelp or other developers to change the way that information is formatted so that they can tell our users what's most important to the user and it's really, it's the, it's the content owner, it's Yelp or it's WebMD or it's Epicurious who has the deeper domain knowledge to be able to put the right abstract together. So if, for example, it made sense in a, um, in a people search result to uh, show in a URL from LinkedIn some information from the public profile of that person, where they're working and uh, how long they've been there, that kind of thing, we'll do that. If it makes sense on a Yelp result for a restaurant query to show the phone number of the restaurant and the number of stars it gets and the address where it's located, maybe a couple of direct links into the reviews or to the map, we'll do that. So we see this as a way to have the search results become richer, maybe a little bit more graphical, um, expose deeper kind of information than we're able to expose right now by working together with the open ecosystem formed by the engines on the one side and the publishers, content owners, content creators on the other side. So by allowing the content creators to kind of give us this richer perspective on what they have, we think it'll be a better user experience. Definitely, and that fit with your, uh, your opening remarks. You were talking about your philosophy of search engines as basically being a tool. And that, what is it you said? Nobody goes there to search, they go there to find something. And so is this sort of, is this sort of uh, trying to, is this, is this one step in trying to get the publishers more directly connected with the users? Yeah, I think, um, I, I think maybe even the other way around, that uh, we really think that um, search is not a destination site. People don't go to search to search. People go to search because they have a specific thing that they want to get done or they're trying to follow up on something that they've heard. There's a lot of reasons, but search is the tool. And uh, so what we'd like to kind of help users with is getting done the tasks that they have in their mind so they can reach their end goals. And part of that is understanding what the task is, and then part of it is just changing what we do as a search engine so that as goals become richer and more complex, and as users kind of start at search, go out into the web, do some transactions, visit a site, learn some information, come back to search for the next piece of the puzzle, back out into the web, interacting with web services, doing fulfillment, transaction purchase, and, and so forth online, we're able to give them more of a cohesive end-to-end -end experience, so it's not as disjointed as it feels today. So part of that is understanding what the content is that's out there, what are the services that are out there, so that we can connect people through the entirety of their task. 
So when you were initially talking about these new standards, you said that they wouldn't uh, affect rankings. It would be more for it would be more for um, improving the user experience. Um, but you did sort of point to a time where, um, after all of this uh, historical user data is taken in, that um, and the standards are accepted upon, you guys understand better how to read them, that they might start to influence rankings so that from the uh, point of view of what gets served up, and not just how it's served up, you start affecting the user experience. I know this is a little abstract, but, uh, but when would you, uh, how do you see that transition taking place in the future? Like how, how would that come to pass? So I, I guess I'd say, we're talking about a specific uh, announcement that we've been making uh, recently right. around Yahoo Open Search Platform. And as you say, Yahoo Open Search Platform is about the presentation of results, and it's not about uh, any changes at all to the way that we do ranking. Mm -hmm. So we're encouraging publishers to give us information to help with presentation with the understanding that uh, it won't influence the way that uh, we decide what's number one and what's number two. Sure. As we come to learn more about the content that's out there, uh, the structure, how the web is organized, then over time it may be that there's more we can do. Um, we don't have any plans along those lines and we don't have any announcements kind of, of uh, lined up. Yeah. But in the fullness of time, we'd like to think that there's an opportunity for uh, the user's task to be addressed sort of holistically based on whatever rich information uh, is kind of available in the ecosystem uh, and published and visible to, um, to the world. Definitely. Okay. And when you're talking about the customizability that you're giving to all the different publishers, um, someone asked the question about uh, the banana rankings in the session, right? Uh, how, do you, uh, how do you take these different ranking systems, like to, say two different hotel sites, have like a four star or a five star ranking system? How do you, how do you compare them? How do you go apples, oranges uh, with them? So I think we, um, we're not looking to provide sort of an aggregated view of all different um, publishers' perspective on a particular object. So in, in the open search platform, we will be providing a website's own view of its own content whenever that content would surface under the regular algorithmic ranking. So um, that means that if it's, uh, if it's a review from one side, it may be that you uh, see their rating in stars. If it's a review from another side, it may be that you see it in, uh, in smiley faces, and another site may do it in terms of uh, bananas with a number through the middle. That's OK. So um, it, even if it's all stars, the same problem exists. Three stars at one place is very different from, uh, from three stars somewhere else. And there's some amount of interpretation that's necessary. And we think our users are um, able to sort of internalize that. And so um, in the context of search results, we do anticipate that um, the particular way that a publisher chooses to expose the value of the content on its site is going to depend on the site. Great. Well, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great speech. I hope all of you were there. <laughs> I'm John Mulligan again with SES New York 2008, and we've got a lot more video content coming your way. Stay tuned.